Hi everyone, it's Jess. I'm excited to share with you a really fun ombre effect using our ultimate stains. So this is where I take colors that are within the same, like a monochromatic color family and blend from light to dark. So here I'm going to use whitewash, weathered gray, and ebony. So just like our ultimate paints with the stains, you're gonna shake your bottle well. And I have the whitewash and weathered gray already applied to a nonstick craft sheet surface. Could also use a painter's palette or something. And then here I'm gonna apply some of the ebony. I'm going to create like a faded effect. And then here I'm using one of our beautiful Baltic birch jewelry pop-out panels. Okay, so we'll use one of these. So I'm using a soft bristle brush and I'm going to start dabbing some of our whitewash towards the top here. Okay, so we're bringing in a little bit of this weathered gray to create a lighter gray tone. And then while the, the stains are wet is where I'm going and applying right beside. So I'm gonna continually be using a paper towel to kind of um, wipe my brush as I go. And I'll go back and forth between colors until it looks like super blended. And I can always go back later to add more of something. So now we have our gray, so now I'm gonna grab some more of this weathered gray, mostly straight from the bottle. I'm just blending a little bit of that lighter colors in with it. Dab some off. And again, just a little bit over top of the last color you did. And then you can go in you don't have any sh harsh lines and like dab. And that's where your color will have a, just a super nice blended effect. Okay, a little bit of weathered gray straight from the bottle. Now with ebony, now I'm gonna bring in some of that to create more of a charcoal gray color. Grab in more of this ebony black. Now you can see here I'm just dabbing with a paper towel to blend that in. And again, I could bring in my brush and blend it a little bit better here. This works with all of the colors within the collection. So we have 12 stain colors and they're all blendable. This is really great in the green and blues family and yellows and oranges for like that sunset effect. It's just one of my favorites. This one's a little bit darker. I applied it um, in layers so you could see the difference here. This has just more of a really light washed effect where this has more of the stain on it. And then I'll show you another fun example here. This is using whitewash and primitive green. Check out our full stain collection and experiment with this fun ombre technique.